the madman. It's time for an arena on the main account because with the new balance patch came new balance and arena as well. Theoretically, all the classes are even now. Which means these percentages are quite old. I don't anticipate that Dao Chan Valera will be at that pathetic win rate now. Me? Suspicious. Man, I saw field contact and I was like, yeah. But not nearly as good as an arena, I imagine. But Berserker is great. Deep Run Engineer is fun. And good. Wait, why is Swindle that low rated? It's hard to combo it and hard to get spells. Uh, I gotta see for myself. The Lone Champion was pretty decent though, for what it's worth. I wonder if I should go Yeti or Cartoot Defender here. Cartoot makes a lot of sense for Rogue, especially since I have a Berserker. We can adjust our pick off of that, I suppose. Good old cheap shot. So flexible. Big taunt. Rogue likes taunt. Rogue likes Ratchet Privateer, but Rogue also likes Backstab. Backstab good with Swindle. Swindle is Windle. I'm gonna go with Backstab. It's hard to, uh... Hard to pick something over Backstab. Ooh, Octobot versus Basilisk. This is also tough. I believe I'll be choosing Basilisk here over Octobot. I just don't really see much point in reducing my hand by one. Basilisk is love. Marsh Drake isn't as bad in Rogue because you can kill the uh, Drake Slayer. Lone Shark, though. Compound interest! Wow. Something, something. Radar. Necro. Good old Blink Fox. Firebird, I suppose. <laughs> Four mana deal three damage to a minion. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Hey, yeah, good old Swash. I think I got Swash over two terrible cards. Ah, oh, Freebooter. That's, wow, these three cards are all good. I did learn from a previous run that you need some big stuff, and I'm lacking big stuff. I'll go with Bear. Arr. Uh, Skulker is kind of like a... It's fine. It's another Swindle. Ooh. Alex Straza, the Life Finder. Nice endgame card. CD Architect, really good card. I'm gonna basically be Taunt Rogue with all those uh, 6 and 7 drops of Taunt. I'm just thinking about Cheap Shot because I do have two Swindles. How many spells do I have? Backstab, Cheap Shot, Swindle, Swindle. I think due to having double Swindle, I actually want Cheap Shot. Because we gotta make sure we have spells to swindle. Saddens me to pass up cheap shot. But hey, it's a forge fiend. That's cool. We definitely have a end game this game, which is good. Peasant wins games. You know, as much as Battlemaster wins games, Peasant wins games. Ooh, extortion. That's fun. I'll skip third swindle, go with Ecto. Ooh, Basilisk. How many taunts do I have in this deck? I mean, Balakrides or combos. Eight. That's not enough. Shopkeep's good. Ecto two. Deep Run Engineer two. Another Forge Fiend, I think. Yeah. Lock up that late game. What I really, like, it's drilling into my mind. You're going to make it through the early and mid game. Uh, so you want to have big stuff. I think that's my conclusion. Um, this would normally not be that obvious a pick, but having played this mode once, I feel much better about this pick, I think. Because that's Swash Burglar. I do like Swash Burglar a lot. Would have been really happy to pick it. Hey, it's Swash Burglar. Really happy to pick it. Hey, it's a third Basilisk. How fun. I think this is a pretty good arena deck. Uh, on one, you have double Slosh Burglar and a Peasant, and a Backstab, and an Extortion. On two, you got double Engineer, the Skulker, and of course the Rogue Hero Power. 
cheap shot if you really need to. On three, you have all sorts of good cards. Blink Fox, Double Ectoplasm, Triple Stone Skin Basilisk. Not the best on three, but pretty good on three, especially against classes that don't have a deal one. Impatient Shopkeep. Uh, four, meh, five, you got a Raider. You got a six, two sevens, two eights, and Alex Trozen. Look at all those taunts at the end. You got Defender, Warbear, Etten, Double Forge Fiend. Looks like a good setup. I feel so uncultured right now. Um, but I've definitely heard of this name before. And it was spelled in this weird way as well. And time for Peasant to demolish this. What is a Parzival? Ready Player One. Yes, of course. I actually don't remember which character this is. Get out of the way, the peasant! Thought about coining out Swashburglar, but I don't think uh, two damage would matter enough. Strictly. Oh, good job, peasant. Drew two cards. And probably gonna take down this skulker. Okay. Alright, peasant. Get him. You owe me. Peasant, one mana. Draw three cards. Deal six damage. A place to hide. Draw four cards. Deal... I win. <laughs> Peasant, win the game! <laughs> Definitely thought about keeping uh, Swindle to Windle, but... More of a late game card, I think. Nice one. <clears throat> Lacking a three drop. A weapon isn't terrible, I suppose. Do I want to backstab the Annoyotron? It'll allow me to hit the Divine Shield off of Argent Squire. It's probably good enough reason. Nothing gr well, actually, that is a good claw machine target, and then I can kill both of these. But the 3 3 Divine Shield gets a really kill good kill on the 3 then. Hmm. But the 6 1 survives then. I think I like that. Kill both the 1 1 so it doesn't have an easy kill on the 6 1. Kill the 3-3? Or to the face. Killing the 3-3 allows the defender to wipe out basically everything here. Might get me a relevant card.
This is some big stuff. That is pretty big stuff too, though. Hey, I got you, friend. Hmm. Six mana to kill that if I wanted to. And then I have two mana left over. Could dagger up and kill that thing. That's option one. Option two is play this. I think. Having this be, um, killing the stuff that can kill my big stuff is probably good. And also, now I think about it, maybe I should kill the 1-2 instead of the 1-1 one, one with dagger. No, dagger is better. Dagger is actually better than using that echo here. Because the dagger kills another 1-1 one, one next turn. We just hope they don't have an answer to 11-11. No answer. No answer. Oh, that's bad. That's good. Oh, that's bad. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no, there is a scorpion on the board, though. That's bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what a hand. Ooh, what a pick. a really good card against Basilisk, but I've got Blink Fox, at least. Four weapon. I definitely should not extortion that. Uh, I'll probably play it next turn. Uh, if the opponent doesn't have very threatening things on the board. That's a threatening thing. But it's not one-shottable. Hmm, honestly, tough. Um, I probably don't want to play this while they've got such a big minion on the board. So this card is a disaster if the opponent has plus one attack buff, but if not, then it's actually quite good. I'll give it a shot. It's on curve. The Necromancer isn't a great play. Also, I forget, no, Kodo Mount was from Druid, but... I, I know that one of the things was that Kodo Mount was apparently too OP, so they had to remove it. Ramming Mount, rather. It was too OP. Okay, so I can use this to kill off the Devil Sore. That's fairly good. I can play a Basilisk against the huge 5-7, which is also very good. I can also use Extortion to save myself several guys, which is also quite good. And I can trade Shopkeep if I think that the card isn't very good, and I have Fell Rattler, so that's correct. It's not great compared to Fell Rattler.
Man, this hand really brings me back. It's truly see a basilisk, pick a basilisk. I am so bad I can't remember the set that it is even when looking at it. At that icon. Cargoyle? Ashes of Outland? Oh, fell rattler. Oh no. The pain. So much pain. Another basilisk! Okay, it's the corset icon, yes. The griffin. I was like, oh yeah, that looks like a griffin, but I don't want to say it. Got some bad news, buddy. <laughs> Neither snow nor rain nor witch. Snakes are super good against my basilisk. Too bad there's a big taunt in the way. Hmm. Oh, unlucky. Wompity womp. You poor thing. You could use. A coin! Are you going for 12 0? Of course! Haha! <laughs> I got paid interest! That is the 5 drop in my deck. I'm gonna keep it. If there's only one mana cost of a card in your deck, it tends to be good to keep it. That's just a really, um, really specific rule. You know, if it's not absurdly high cost, because it is the perfect card to play on that turn. It's not something people do that often. I think this is a good shopkeep. It goes into the perfectly statted minion, and my curve is still quite good after. And three ones can uh, do a lot of damage to the three drop. When I say like keep the unique casting cost card, uh, I don't mean 
you know, if it's too high a cost, however. Unless it's really good. I haven't decided whether or not I'd keep Alex Straws in my hand yet. It's a maybe. After a friendly minion loses Divine Shield. Oh, Basilisk! I've got so many! I forgot. Genuinely a tough turn. I think the play is hitting them with 3-1, breaking the 3-1's Divine Shield with the 1-1. One, one. I just have to think about if I want to uh, do the trade. It's a 3-1 against the 3-1. They're more obligated to trade because I have the weapon, the dagger. My dagger represents a really good answer to anything with one health. So I think I can push the extra 3 damage. Well, with that thing around, I've just gotta push the 5-7 to the 3-1 since this thing is dead. And then play my best 3, which would be this thing. Basil is so strong. Oh! Oh. Divine shield on that deck. Right, it's time for the Morg Forge Fiends. Uh, no answer, hope. Better than the Atten because the 6 6 doesn't die to Atten. Oof. That's... that's vicious. These old bones just keep moving. Oof, oof, oof. Really, it's not too heavy. Okay, Paladin, we get it. Your deck is good. Where? What? Where? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's a shaman now. Intriguing. Wow! Impressive! Those are my types of weapons. We match! I like to imagine that if Illidan were going out with Valera, he'd be sporting those.
Hmm. That's a decent answer. I'd go as far as to say that's a great answer. For the Alliance and my family, I fight. I'd go as far as to say that's an excellent answer. We are revising earnings upwards with each statement. I am usually not very observant, but this Kariel, she seems outlandishly big. Am I missing something? It's like even I can notice <laughs> something seems amiss there. Hit the 2 1, 3 3 goes face. Maybe 3 3 hits the 1 1 so that the basilisk does enter is fine. Annoyotron might be quite good. That costs 1 mana. If I played Annoyo and I got rid of the 1 1 and the 2 1, so the opponent couldn't get through Annoyo. Do the trades to uh, prevent the push through the Annoyo into the basilisk. Alas. Oh, interestingly, that means there's two spells in that hand. Aha! Just the woman I was looking for. <laughs> Time for despair! Even flowers are full. I win. What is My it? Eyes are upon. Well fought. Unless Strictly. Good. Cool. Sure. Good enough. Or skeleton army. I have things you never knew you wanted. Really? Oh, 
Oh, what secret is that? For the master. Nice. The two one and the one one I actually get to kill one three. That is something. For the master. And time to defuse the bomb. Efficient. There's no reason to push two damage through fast, so even though I can kill it, no reason to. I think it's good play to play the Forge Fiend now. Draws a showing off her power in both games. I hope, um, whenever I like put some big guys on the left and the right, and I'm playing against Hunter and I'm in Arena, I take a moment and think, boy, I sure hope Kobolds and Catacombs isn't in this set. It isn't here. I checkled at the opponent's name. That's a good one. Kobolds and Catacombs is not an arena, is it? bit confused. Is it better to ramp him so I get ramped faster? Feels dangerous. But I want to collect my interest faster too, right? That was a tough call not to play Basilisk. It was really close. That devouring is at its best on this turn. And obviously, if I had played the Basilisk, there would have been a different play. Hmm, what downsides would there be to not attacking if it gets buffed and then it one-shots my shark? I think... I think it's right. Some chance I get the rushing guy. Oh, Tonka. Could be good. That was actually good. Pay up! Pay up!
That is actually rather good here. Attacks the, um... The Wind Fury, if I want to do it that way. I think it would be correct to do this, then. If I play cards that aren't very big, then the poison isn't that good. I think the uh, cheap shot can be saved for a even better time. I think double basilisk is possibly even better than the pyro. The pyro is not very good right now. I mean, I can see all sorts of good plays, the question is which play is best? The Peasant is good because there's too much desire to kill stuff. So sad. Where's your swipe now, Druid? If I draw two spells, yeah, those spells could be good next turn. The insight, I don't think, can be good this turn. Such cool music! Doesn't match the goodness of the card, though. Uh, do I just burninate that? 7-5, that is a lot of stats. What's the other way to kill it? I have no really good other way to kill it. Well, the cheap shot's actually pretty good. I'd rather put out an 8-8, though. And show off my awesome legendary! Oh, you hate to see that. A fine purchase! For a good time. Three mana deal fourteen damage. Dang. Big if true, and is true. These big taunts! I can see. Hmm... Darn, Peasant no good against Demon Hunter. Part of me is thinking... Do I want to save the Peasant for after I get to put it behind a taunt? I think the answer is yes. I don't think I'm ahead if I play a 2-1 and the opponent hero powers it. I think I'm behind if that happens. I'd rather mulligan the 2-1.
Wow. Intriguing. Got owned there. So one will be on the top, which means when I swindle, I'm going to draw the card. Which card do I want to draw? It's not Basilisk. Is it Backstamp? So many. It might be Slosh Burglar. Backstamp shh, is a good card. Shrug. Man, this Kurtris really wrecked me. That was a multi-shot, which also put a 3-4 on the board. Power! But I think I'll catch up on this turn, at least. That's a tough decision. Dirigible or Octobot? I think it's Dirigible here. Dirigible is really good. Big turn seven coming up. All right, got rid of the big direct damage. I could bait out with the Etten first. Do Demon Hunters have big hard removal? That's one of the things that they don't have. So that would mean that there's no answer to the Forge Fiend anyways. Which means I should play the more threatening card first. So many options. That's a dependent on the class play. And the Nightmare is big game hunter, but we don't play around this. Hmm, good thing I played the 8-8. Eight eight. How many spells do I have left in the deck? Two cheap shots. Oh wow, that's a good combo. Play the big card while I have the mana there. Definitely want a dagger one. So I have seven mana. So I guess I don't play Swindle. I'm actually considering is it worth giving up five damage in order to hold a 1 1 on the board? It puts this in three range? I think. No, but it's close. It was worth, like, taking a moment to think about. If, the, if 4 plus 3 um, wasn't 1 away, I probably would have done it. If this had 9 health, I would have traded for the 1-1 one, one instead. But Demon Hunters have a lot of ways to deal 3. I'm not even sure if that's true. 
Ah, oh, that card. We just want to put out maximum stuff. <laughs> Second Illitari Inquisitor, that would make me cry. Lethal. Cheap, 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 cheap. Trade. 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. If I didn't trade, I would have lethal, but I have to. Don't you dare have Illidari Inquisitor. Don't you dare. Oh. How's the weather down there? My eyes for vengeance. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It's gonna come down to the wire. Let this be the end of it. Intriguing. No. So a very long time ago, I might have thought Coin Swindle would be a great play, and I think a lot of people think it's a good play. It's not, and maybe that's why Swindle's win rate is low. That's just a theory. Nice. Uh, peasant and swashburglar. This is a really good tempo open. As expected, if I draw all my one drop minions. Darn. No fair having an answer to peasant. Hmm. Get 
could have sworn it went back together. I think I do best just no, definitely not. For a moment, I almost went insane and decided that the best move was to not attack with that. But that would have been insane. That could be Yogg, Wisdom, or Savior. I've forgotten how to trigger Hidden Wisdom. I think it's if I draw more than one card. Play three cards in a... Oh, it's the same with Savior, okay. But Plague is the most important card, so I swindle. A good plague of flames. Oh, I forgot about the mount. Third scorpion. Are arenas like this phase just insane? Maybe I've like overestimated that my decks because the average power level of decks just seems off the charts. It's three scorpion versus three basilisk. That's a really good card. I want to save that with this. That's a 7-7 seven, seven Divine Shield Rush. But it's sadly not doable. Just, uh... Just to make sure I have something on the board, I guess. I don't think this is a lower power level than the last rotation. I mean, I only have a sample size of two, but the cards clearly seem really good. Oh, wow, what's a seven? Um... Party up, wow. Oh, that's a 5 2 twos. Well, I got Cheap Shot. That's a really good card, the Claw Machine. What? Twelve plus six is eighteen. Better not be oh my yog. Okay, glad I didn't attack with the huge card into that. So this would be twelve. Okay, that's that works out. Oh, it's a new challenger, not a, a new party, or gather your party, or whatever. Oh, good six drop. Let me light the way. Wow. So many cool cards. Every single turn I'm like, ah, oh, it keeps playing such huge cards, I should play my Basilisk. But I have 8 mana, I really want to play the 8 mana card. They've surely played all their big cards by now? Nah, every single card has been big.
That was a good card. I missed that card. Mmm, snack. Seven! This time is it? Gather your party? The deck quality, I mean, the quality of decks I've seen across the arena so far, and, you know, given my own deck, I feel like this is one of those um, really powerful arena metas. The decks are just all so good. Hopefully not. Party up! Wow. That's so cool. That's so powerful. Good thing I went all in. Wait, I still don't have lethal. Good thing I have cheap shot. Wait, that's still not good enough. Okay, I gotta think about this. Um, I definitely want to cheap shot the two poison guys. That's uh, four mana spent. Cheap shot the revealed two two. That's six mana spent. So many options. Cheap shot both of those two two. So that's ten mana spent. Need to spend one ones to poke both of those. Need to clear off the one one so it doesn't kill my one one. Probably should kill the four five. Which means I should poke this one with this. This goes there. This goes there. This goes there. And then I'm gonna have to leave one alive. Interesting. If I had cashed in the Lone Shark, I could have gotten another cheap shot in. I don't think that was worth it, but good catch. More bones to gnaw on. King's on a friend. Oof. Come on, Alex. The coin helped still. Alright, my hand's really good. So this is looking promising. Cap. Well, my deck's really good. And one of the draws is a trade. We got a 2 and 6 chance. Oh, well, that's fine. I can break through that with the poisonous. I was about to poke that with the weapon, but the 3-1 will just die to the 1-1. One, one. The big decision is basically, do I immediately trade? Uh, because if he has a buff, that would perhaps go quite badly. I I'd rather not risk it. 
like Pharaoh's thingy just closed me out. I know that I put him at nine, but it seems unlikely that I wouldn't be able to set them eight. Guess what drop? <laughs> what a game! Good thing I have three basilisks. <laughs> I was not going to make it through without this. Alright. The opponent doesn't know, but he is not safe. <laughs> Thank goodness I have Elling Straws in my deck. Alright. She's coming. That was the worst draw, but it's a good draw still. I'm almost out of cards. Come, my pretty birds. Alex Straza just likes uh, keeping things exciting. I like it. You're so spicy, Alex Straza. I hope I draw SI7 Extortion. Here's a well played. Epic. Oh, what am I gonna get? <laughs> and the cycle of life is Tag team. Man, that that last uh, game made tradable look so cool. Everyone's like, tradable is such a great mechanic. Yeah, it's pretty good. That was actually a really hard choice. The next turn I'm playing Basilisk, and turn after that I'm playing Fireburn. And by then the Octobot will be too late. I think I want Spider Tank. Interesting attack. Must have a plan. <laughs> Good plan. Alright, I'm glad that both of those uh, rushy riders are gone. Enter the Basilisk. afraid of the uh, basilisk I think interesting line it almost makes me hesitant to play two basilisks but I'll do it if one basilisk was such an issue then two basilisks should be twice the issue Something the opponent is definitely getting wrecked by basilisk I can sense his frustration from across the internet tubes. I can feel the tears. But even though we're connected, I can still feel the massive tears from the Alex Straza. Oh, Anixia. Close enough. Alright, you got rid of one charge of poison. Poke. Oh, 
Oh. Well timed statue. They've gotten rid of another charge of poison. Impressive. Wait, no, you haven't. Well, yes, you will for the statue. I thought that it would be enough to. Anyways, unlucky. Blah, blah, blah. Time for some good burgles. Decent. didn't seem to be able to go long. Now keep the option. Such big cards you have there. Normally I'd be happy to uh, send the Divine Shield Poison into that, but I can sense that there are some huge cards over here still. Big. Very big. Uh-oh. At least I get to eat a 12 health dragon. Still lose? I mean, if Sarah awakens, doesn't kill the big guy. <sighs> this is fine. I really want to beat uh, beat a Sarah play. Cheap shot can solo that. Takes my turn, but that's fine. <laughs> that stealth guy might combo with my dagger to deal the final three damage. It doesn't work, but let's see. I mean, I put him to one. That's probably good. If only I had the coin. Well, then I wouldn't have the two damage. Now, it's interesting. I can either dagger or I can cheap shot. Da no, actually, I can't dagger. It's not good enough. I mean, I could dagger, but it's a terrible play. Alright, Burly Adventure! You can do it! You can do it, Burly Adventure! We will be built. No! Alright, you held out. Good job. Okay, uh, this is possible with Cartoot Defender. I know. Mind if I roll need? <laughs> Alex Straza. <laughs> okay, the peasant has landed. But I think I'd rather play Ectoplasm. Secure the board. And then I lay down the peasant next turn. Or maybe way later. 
It's so tempting to play peasant when your opponent has no board, but better to stay ahead on tempo, uh, because then when you play the peasant, you'll be winning by more. I'd rather have a 2-2 two -two than a 1-1, one -one, and it's worth taking 4 damage for that. This peasant is burning a hole in my pocket. You owe me. But this firebird is a good peasant test. Mm, cheap, cheap, ch no. Maybe. I definitely want to keep this around, and it looks like they didn't have an answer. It works definitely good here. And then it's the choice between Basilisk or, uh, Peasant. With Dagger. Basilisk. Every single turn, I have considered playing Peasant. Uh, and then every single turn, I'm like, ah, I should do the tempo play. Considered playing peasant yet again that turn. Alright, we've cleared the board for you, peasant. You got this. You got this! Get behind the Etten and the bear! It's peasant time. Your time has come. Why life tap when you can just peasant? You win this time. So coin shark in the basilisk seems like a good opening in theory because the uh, the temporary loan only empowers the Basilisk. Actually, I'll just go Queen Basilisk. That card is huge. The opponent has decided to trade two of their health for two of my health. Vicious. Razor Mane is a good card to play when the opponent can't one-shot it, and it's my 5-drop. 
My alternative is to play the Basilisk, which is a good card to play into their big card. I think the Basilisk is better. And then it will let me have a lot more options with the Swindle. These are both good lines. Hard to say which one's better. I think this one's better. It's in a unique spot where the Basilisk has found a good target already. Mm, good answer. Okay, my option is 3-3 three, three, or 6 or 5. I think 3-3 three, three is best here. 3-3. Three, three. Maybe I'll get a really good card. Destroy a friendly lackey to summon a 5-5 five, five demon. Well... Two defenders now in a good spot because all of those are in three damage range. The Amani Warbear is, of course, a decent choice. I think Cartoot's at its best here, though. So many options in my hand, so many bad options, but so many options. Okay, it's worthy to uh, note, it's worth noting that the opponent doesn't have a good answer to one health minions right now. I think I dig for cheap shot. It's the secret play. The hidden play. That was not an obvious answer. Not in your hand. And it's stats. Oh, Lone Shark Clockwork Giant combo. Uh, if I play Lone Shark, Clockwork will cost three. So three, six. I really want to play Clockwork while the hand is big. I miscounted my mana, but that's fine. What is it? I was thinking about this anyways. Taunt, getting poisoned. I suppose I'll take that. That stung, but doesn't sting as much since they did kill their own 6 7. Wow! Cool deck. It's rigged! It's rigged! Feel the sun bear down upon you. Well, Warlock does actually have ways to restore health. Do you have an audience with the king? Whew. Note to self to try to dodge Lion's Garden Arena. This is a good weak turn. 
Oh, they do have cascading. Ouch. What? Trade last one. Oh no, they're in Lion's Guard range. They've already played two Lion's Guard though. Time may pass, but the <laughs> well <played. laughs> I'm crying. My conclusion is that the arena decks are really, really strong. And I thought I had a good arena deck. I mean, I do have a good arena deck. It's just everyone's arena deck is good.